You have been warned. Traditional Linux is dying, and you're dying with it too. You think you're cool because you run Arch and Gentoo? You're just Linux supreme noobs. And the rain will kill us all. We throw ourselves against the wall. But no one else can see the preservation of the modern me. This time is micro OS arriving on desktop. It's a containerized system based on OpenSUSE, and similar to Silverblue it is designed with an immutable base image on runtime. Since the system is read-only, micro OS uses transactional updates that are atomic, and butter FS for snapshots and rollbacks. That last, is a main difference with Silverblue that creates Git-like commits on software level with OS tree library, and currently has much more capabilities. But a big similarity with Silverblue is that in the case of an update, or even a new installation of an individual package, we should restart the system and mount the newly created image for changes to take effect. In this case GIMP. And while we can push packages on base image like that, Micro OS is designed to work with containers and flat packs. Which bring us to the main event of the video. It's not an accident that Red Hat, Intel, OpenSUSE, Purism, Endless, Elementary and pretty much everyone else, is going with flat packs. And it is neither an accident that heavy software based companies like Mercedes, Porsche, Tesla and others, are using traditional containers for the in-car computers. There is virtually no worse now. So before you update or install Ubuntu, you should know that it will be a time not long from now, you will lose all your workflow and your snaps. And I'll be there to proudly say to you. I told you so. Back to Micro OS, and we have two choices to get it. The first and preferred method is with the Tumbleweed rolling release, and I so wish Silverblue had that too. Or you can also get the Boring Leap, which by the way is tagged as an experimental release. Speaking of experimental, you may previously notice the missing GILM icons. All those systems are maintaining very small base images, although forgetting to add add way to icons looks like amateur work to be honest. Point is, everything you see is everything we get by default, at least currently. Which is more or less the same like Silver Blue, with the difference that Silver Blue comes preloaded with lots of flat packs. To be fair though, on micro installation it clearly states that both GILM and Plasma desktops are on alpha support. And also notice that in GILM we can use software for updates, and discover on Plasma. And one more thing is the default podmin runtimes, so similarities with Silverblue workflows are very strong. And of course everything leads to the question. For whom micro OS was made for? According to Richard Brown. MicroOS release engineer and former chairman at OpenSUSE, MicroOS is not for everyone. But it should be perfect for lazy developers, and people that are used to Android, Chromebooks and such experience. So actually, MicroOS is for everyone, and Tumbleweed and Leap desktops are deader than dead. 